hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how you can download and install windows 10 technical preview on your windows 7 or windows 8 or windows 8.1 operating system so windows has released its uh, windows 10 technical preview and you can download and install it and uh, take a look on it how it works and uh, if possible you can provide the feedback to microsoft also and it's free uh, to download and preview uh, this uh, windows 10 technical preview so you can download it and install it now how you can uh, install this uh, in parallel with your uh, operating system for example windows 8 in my case uh, well it's really easy to install Windows 10 technical preview with your uh, you know or uh, Windows 8 or Windows uh, 8.1 operating system by using a virtual machine and the virtual machine we are going to use in this video is called VirtualBox. VirtualBox helps us uh, to run uh, any other operating system in parallel with your uh, host operating system so virtualbox uh, enables you to run other operating systems like uh, linux or uh, other windows uh, versions or mac os on this uh, virtualbox software so you don't need to uninstall anything uh, and you can run two operating system in parallel so this is the website which you need to go to in order to uh, get VirtualBox first, and on this uh, VirtualBox, we are going to install uh, Windows 10 Technical Preview. So just go to this uh, website called www.virtualbox.org, and then just go to the downloads here. And I will post uh, the link in the description where I have shown you how you can download and install VirtualBox. So just click this link if you are not sure. And once you have downloaded this virtual box, it will look like this. So this virtual box looks like this, and the icon of virtual box will look like this Oracle virtual machine virtual box, right? And you can add new virtual machines or operating systems on this virtual box. Now, the second thing you need is the windows 10 iso file right to install it on your virtual box so you can get this uh, windows 10 iso file by going to this link which is windows.microsoft.com slash en minus us slash windows slash preview minus iso i will post this link in the description so you can directly uh, go to this link and then in here you will be able to see something like this uh, download windows technical preview and just read all the comments here and when you browse a little bit down you will be able to see some links here so depending upon the requirement uh, if you have a 64 bit or 32 bit operating system you can download this so for now i'm going to download this um, 64 bit uh, English United States uh, ISO file. So just click this link. It will take around half an hour to download because it's a big file around uh, 3.81 GB. So be patient and let this download complete. And once this download is complete, then we are ready to install uh, this Windows 10 on our system. Now we have already opened our virtual machine here which is virtual box now in order to create a new uh, virtual machine on this virtual box what you need to do is you need to click this new button here so click this new button and in here you need to give the name of to your machine so we are going to uh, install windows 10 technical preview right windows 10 you can name it as TP for technical preview and the type is Windows Microsoft Windows there are other types here which are available but we are interested in Windows right so just select this options 
and in the version because the latest available version is windows 8.1 i'm going to select windows 8.1 64-bit because i have downloaded 64-bit iso file right and click next and in here you will be able to see uh, how much memory you want to give to your operating system uh, by default it's 2048 in my case but it depends upon the operate uh, on the machine you are using so i think 2048 will be okay for windows 10 technical preview next uh, create virtual hard drive just select this option next uh, leave it as default uh, which is vdi next leave it this also default dynamically allocated and this much amount of uh, memory it requires by default 25 gb but you can increase or decrease it depending upon your uh, system you know specifications but 25 gb is okay now create once this uh, windows 10 tp which is windows 10 technical preview is uh, uh, this machine is created you just need to select this machine and right click and go to the settings this you can do it by selecting this machine and clicking this button also so just go to the settings and in here you will be able to see uh, in the system category you will be able to see the memory and the processors right now by default one processor is allotted by virtualbox but you can increase this depending upon the processors you have so i will increase it to two but it's not necessary it will uh, work fine with one processor also now go to storage and in here select in the controller category empty and then browse for the iso file you have downloaded right you have downloaded uh, this iso file this will look like this windows technical preview minus x64 english us right select this uh, iso file and open it and then click ok now you have provided this iso file which you have downloaded to the this uh, windows 10 machine now you just need to right click and start just right click and start or just select this machine and click this button start it will start your um, virtual machine and on this virtual machine it will start uh, your windows 10 installation so you can see windows 10 is starting here to install so for the first time you need to install it and uh, once it's installed from the next time whenever it will open it will open as a normal operating system so it can also take some time depending upon the speed of your computer so this installation is uh, i think straightforward uh, it's same as any other windows operating system it's uh, very similar to windows 8 uh, installation so language and this you can choose it according to your language and uh, whatever is your keyboard layout and click next and click install now and then just uh, it will take some time uh, it will start a process to configure your machine and if you are if you uh, notice these uh, messages you just need to close them because they are not going to affect your installation so you can safely ignore these messages okay and so you this license terms and condition you need to agree these and click next and in here this is important uh, by default this upgrade install windows to keep all the files is selected but you need to select custom windows uh, install so custom install windows select this option and in here create a new hard drive and click apply and click ok it will create a new hard drive and now you can click next and now it will take some time to copy all windows files and 
uh, copy uh, all uh, installation features and installation. So now I'm going to pause this video because it takes uh, around five minutes to complete these all processes. So once these processes are com are complete, I'm going to continue. Now next option is to uh, create your account, Microsoft account, if you already have. Then give it your account name or otherwise you can create a new account. I'm going to create a new account. And then I will give my credential here. But if you also don't want to do this, there will be an option here called sign in without a Microsoft account. So I'm going to choose this sign in without a Microsoft account. And here you just need to give your uh, your username and password and uh, then you will be good to go so it will be a local account so for example programming knowledge and password and once again password and some hint and click finish and once you click finish it will finalize your settings and then it will start your windows 10 operating system like this and now let's start and this is your windows 10 and for the first time whenever you take a look at this windows 10 it will look like this uh, which is uh, which will look like any other uh, windows 10 operating system but whenever you click this button you will be able to feel the changes in new windows uh, 10 so for example you will click this windows 10 is ready to use you can preview this uh, for the first time you can see uh, this menu uh, start menu is back here and there are other features like this menu you can drag like this or resize your menu and there is one more feature to search your apps from directly from here or see your tasks from here so you can preview this windows 10 by yourself and see how it looks like and how it feels and I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.